Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect and we grow. Microsoft Excel is changing. With the launch of Office 2021 and Microsoft 365, there are a lot of new features and functions that you should take advantage of. And this is really going to reduce the amount of work you use in creating formulas. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through an example where we use the filter unique transpose functions, which are new functions in Office 365 and Office 2021 to make your life easier. So as you always do, join me in Excel and let's go through this in five minutes. So this is my sample data. It is payroll data. Name of staff, their basic pay, their net pay, and the bank that they do business with. So at the end of the month, after we run payroll, we want to send payment instructions to each of these banks. But we want to create a summary report so that when we filter on a particular bank, we get a dynamic summary report on another sheet, okay, which we can now send in an email or print out for the bank. That is our goal in this short video. Before we proceed, we need to convert this data into a table, it makes it easier for us to do our calculations and also sort and filter. So standing anywhere in this data block, I can press Ctrl T and I'll click OK. So my table has now been inserted. I'm now going to name this payment. So payment is the name of the table. Now I'm going to insert a new worksheet. So Shift F11 gives you a new worksheet. I'm going to rename this worksheet Alt H O R, pressing these keys one after the other. So you are able to get a new worksheet. I'm going to name this bank advice. First thing we are going to do is to extract the unique bank names from our payment. So to do that, I'm going to introduce you to the first function, which is unique. So what unique does is that it goes into a certain array, column or field, and gives you the unique items in that array. So first I'll call the name of the table payment, and then I'll bring in bank. So I'm now going to get the unique list of banks. So I'm going to name this banks. The next thing I'm going to do is to extract the unique headers in my original table. So let's call this headers. I'm going to use the same unique function. So equal to unique, call the name of the table payment. And I'm going to bring the headers, which is part of the table. So when I do this, what I'm going to get is a horizontal layout as was in my old table. So I can transpose this, change the layout by running transpose around this. So I now have the unique headers. The reason I'm doing this is that I want a dynamic report so that I can use any of these headers to create that report. So here I have these two. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a drop down list. To create a drop down list, Alt DL. So Alt DL brings the data validation dialog box. And here we are going to assign a list. The good thing about these new features is that if I have a dynamic array, I can just point to the first cell. So here it starts from here and ends here. And then bring the hash sign. Okay, so this will reference everything here. When I click OK, I now have the unique banks in this drop down list. Okay, so let me just color this so that we know where and then I'll just put in, let's say, EcoBank here. Now, we are going to do the same thing for this unique headers. So, list, source, first, cell, hash, and then OK. So, again, I have this. Okay, so let me just put in any and then I'll duplicate this, Control D, Control D. So, I have these three. Let me also paint this blue to make it easier. So it is from these three fields or columns plus this bank, I'm going to create a dynamic report that will respond to any header that I choose here. Now let's proceed. We are going to use one of the new functions called filter. Okay, so equal to filter. What it does is that it goes into an array and when you include a certain criteria, it will bring you the result or the filtered list based on that criteria. Okay, so my filter 
is going to be on payments the entire table okay what i want to include is if the header so payments okay and then i'll call the header so if the header is equal to this then it should bring that particular content okay so let's see what we get here so if i do this i get mail 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 okay if i change this to name okay i get the names so to make it easier i can even reference this okay so that it moves together so if this works then all we need to do is bring in these two so i'm going to take this copy it okay and then put it in brackets and then hit a plus sign and then add the th second one so the second one is going to be the second header which is going to be gender okay and while we are here let's add a third one so i'm going to hit the plus sign and then i'll add the third one so if payment is equal to e8 this time round so what is going to happen now is if i now change any of these headers okay i get a dynamic response so let me just so i now have a situation where if i want any header i just have to come in here okay and then choose the particular header i am interested in and this is a dynamic summary report that i can use to send to any bank for payment now this is filtering but it doesn't give us the particular bank so we need to now let this respond to this particular bank okay so with this one formula we can run a final filter on it okay that would say that for this particular one all payments that are equal to this particular bank okay we'll filter that one as well so now if i choose zenith bank i get this if i choose fidelity i get that okay so it's a very simple way to create these reports especially if you want to be able to be changing the columns and the bank at will so please embrace these new functions in microsoft 365 or office 2021 it cuts down a lot of the work you use to create some of these dynamic reports please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more of these short videos you can send add to this whatsapp number who we'll add you add you to our broadcast list so you receive videos directly all our old videos are on our youtube channel finance close up please visit subscribe and get notification when we post new videos or connect with us on any of the social media handles thank you so much for watching